everybody, it's Black Metal Werewolf making a brand new video for you this week. And today we will be doing another opening of the Metalhead Box. The lovely people over at the Metalhead Box were nice enough to send me another one to open on camera for your viewing pleasure. So without further ado, let's crack this baby open and see all the cool metal stuff that came in the Metalhead Box for the month of August 2019. All right, looks like on top we have another enamel pin that usually come in these metalhead boxes, and this month is... Ooh, hey now, it is a Dark Throne Transylvanian Hunger Pin, and I fucking love that. You know, last month I took a bit of a break from YouTube, and uh, I was really kind of kicking myself because by doing that I didn't get a metalhead box open on camera, and I saw all the amazing stuff that came in it. But let me tell you, if I was still on break and I didn't get this box and I missed out on this pin, I would be fucking kicking myself. I love that pin. Yes. Already, this box is off to a great start. Okay, after that brutal Dark Throne pin, because nothing says like cold black metal, like a Canadian August, we have a t-shirt. So let's open this puppy up here. Ooh. Sacramentum Blood Shall Be Spilled. I can't say I've ever listened to Sacramentum, but that is a very cool design, and I can't wait to listen to these guys so I can officially wear those t-shirts. I very much like that. All right, after that t-shirt, it looks like we got ourselves uh, what I believe is a Type O negative sweatband. Because let me tell you, when I'm air guitaring and air drumming and uh, listening to music in here, I work up quite a sweat and I definitely need these. So I very much appreciate that. And after that, it looks like we got ourselves a very nice Marduk patch. And I do like the quality of this patch because I'm putting together a new vest here with a lot of black and death metal bands on it. So it's good to get some good quality patches in these boxes. So very much enjoy that. Now we have ourselves some CDs. All right, so looks like we got the first one here. Lie and Ruin and Demise. I'm not sure, uh, just based on looking at this here, I'm not sure if that is the band name and the album or if that's two different bands. It's just kind of a compilation CD. I can't quite tell, but either way, I uh, like the look of that. It has a very cool Grim Reaper on there. Very dark, very brutal, very metal. And after that, what do we have here? Third Storm. What is the name of the album? The Grand... Manifestation. Ooh, got God and the Devil duking it out on the cover there. Hardcore, I like that. All right, what do we have next here? Is it a tote bag? Looks like a tote bag. It is not a tote bag, it's a backpack. Hey, you know what makes it even better? It is a Morbid Angel backpack, and I very much enjoy that. Though I'm not the biggest fan of these types of backpacks, they do get the job done. And uh, if you're going to a festival, I suppose you could throw some uh, water in here, maybe some granola bars, you know, keep yourself, you know, good and hydrated and fed during a festival. That's a good idea. I like that. And you know, you can throw a couple porno magazines in there between bands to keep yourself entertained. So right on. You never, you can, these things have a thousand uses. They really do. All right, looks like we got ourselves some promotions down in the bottom here. So the first one is a little promotion for the band Sacramentum for that exclusive t-shirt. Sacramentum is Swedish melodic black and death metal band. Oh boy, I hope they can throw a few more labels on that there. Who released their highly acclaimed album Far Away From The Sun in 1996. Listen at sacramentum.bandcamp.com. Hey, all right now. And on the other side, it looks like the other t-shirt that would have come in the other metalhead boxes are Nervosa. Uh, in your face Brazilian thrash metal. Say what you will about South America, but the South Americans know their metal. They uh, a lot of really good bands come out of there. New album Downfall of Mankind out now on Napalm Records. Listen at nervosa-brazil.bandcamp.com. So there you go. There's some two awesome. I'm assuming awesome bands you can check out. Right on. All right. Looks like we're down to the last few items in the box here. Looks like a promotion. Heavy and Humble Productions and the Metalhead Box present Heavy Metal Hunters from Japan, Metal Lucifers with Locals, Demontage, and I believe that says Arcania, Friday, September 27th at Sneaky D's. That doesn't sound like a gay porn shop if I've ever heard it. Uh, at 6.30 for the early show, $20 advance and $25 at the door. Uh, tickets available at brown paper t uh, yeah, brownpapertickets.com. And it looks like I got uh, two promotions for the exact same thing. So, hey, I said it once, and I said it again. And uh, that appears to be it. Just a little promotion for some concerts show I'm assuming are going to be in Toronto. And the very last thing we have in here is just a small little thing for that uh, Morbid Angel backpack. It's just a little Morbid Angel Sigil backpack promo. All right, uh, nothing else in this month's box, and I almost missed that little thing right there. 
So that appears to be everything that came in the Metalhead box for the month of August 2019. And for the most part, I am quite pleased. I got two albums to listen to and some new bands to check out as well, so I love that. This Dark Throne pin, I am in love with that the second I saw that. Um, Morbid Angel Backpack, no complaints there. Awesome patch. Um, maybe, hey, I might even go see these bands, who the hell knows. And another cool t-shirt and a typo negative sweatband. Um, uh, usually these boxes come with an autograph, so it's kind of weird that this one didn't, but hey, you can't win them all. Uh, so for the most part, I vi uh, did really enjoy this box. I thought it came with a lot of cool stuff. But of course, I'd like to get your guys' opinion on all of this. Did you enjoy this month's box, or did you not enjoy this month's box? Please leave me a comment letting me know what you thought. I would love to know, and I'm sure the people over at the Metalhead box would love to know too. And of course, before I wrap everything up here, I just want to give a very big thank you to the people over at the Metalhead Box for sending me another box to open on camera. You guys are just so damn generous, I just can't possibly thank you enough. Of course, if you, the viewer, would like to get your very own Metalhead Box, I suggest you jump on it sooner rather than later. These puppies uh, tend to sell out pretty damn quickly, and you really don't want to miss out on all the cool Metalhead stuff that comes inside. Of course, if you'd like to get your very own, I'll be putting links to their official website, Facebook page, and Instagram down in my description so you guys can get your very own. So that's it for today's video. If you like what you saw, don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave me a comment letting me know what you thought of today's video. Check out some of my past videos and share them with a few of your friends while you're at it. If you want to keep up with me on a more daily basis, you can follow me on Facebook and on Instagram. I also have a P.O. box open. All of that info is down in the description. I also have a handful of patches left for sale, so if you'd like to get your very own, you can click right over here. There's also a link down in the description. Overall, thank you very much for watching, guys, and a big thank you to the people over at the Metalhead Box. And don't forget to stay brutal.